I click OK. Sales order gets generated. It's very similar to the purchase order when it comes to the design, but obviously it's a customer facing. So here I specify the IPS, and as you see, I immediately tab over and there would be no unit price suggested. So what was the purpose of having a trade agreement? The trade agreement doesn't necessarily show anything if you haven't enabled the four purchase prices or four sales prices. In this example, the four sales prices is cleared in the storage dimension group. That's why it doesn't suggest anything. If the product IPS had a default price on the product definition, which I'm about to show you right now by going through the view detail and expand the perhaps sell and click edit. And just let's put a number here. Intentionally, I'll put 50. This is a 50 based on Euro, as you see. And if I remove this line and re-add it, automatically brings up the default price from the product definition, even though you don't have a trade agreement gets triggered. However, I put 50 Euro, the unit price becomes $68.49. Why? Because this customer of mine is based in the United States, is using the exchange rate automatically, which we have discussed in finance courses, and it shows the 50 euro based on exchange rate as of today and converts it in USD. You can verify this by going through the header view and take a look at the information as far as the price default settings for this order. You see that on the price and discount fast app, if I expand it, the default currency for this specific customer is USD. That's why it's converting it on the fly. Pretty powerful. I refresh this form and I'd like to also show you without continuing with the sales order, the procurement and sourcing, similar behavior. If I go to the purchase order, create a new one for one of my vendors again, similar behavior, multiple addresses, default warehouse that you can set up. As you see, this is Euro. So therefore, whatever I put in as far as the default pricing for purchase, then it will appear on the line itself. So once more on the IPS, if you recall, I didn't put any default purchase price for the quantity of one. If I tab over, you indeed see nothing. But if I go back and select the view detail, and this time edit the product based on a purchase fast tab and put a default pricing on the product, then that will appear as a default pricing on purchase order. So in order to see this again, I remove this line, re-add it because refresh would not do it. It's only initiate as soon as we add it. So that become 40 euro again because the vendor and the company both use the same currency. So it didn't exchange it. So if I go back to the header view, you notice that on the price and discount, your vendor expects euro. I refresh it. And as you see, I now switch back to the product information management. And let's review the storage dimension group once more and click on the side on the warehouse which have cleared the checkboxes if i select the four purchase price on the warehouse automatically select the side as well unfortunately it doesn't refresh very well but has been selected as you see i'm not going to change anything it just takes a while to refresh it but if you select the warehouse it's going to pick the side as well now see by turning that option on if i come back here on a line add a new ips it picks up from the trade agreement now so originally my default pricing when i wanted to buy was 40 euro now is getting the data from the trade agreement purchase price. This is for side one, warehouse 100. If I go to the line detail and select the product tab, as soon as I switch this to second warehouse, the price changes to 9350. 